Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. In today's combination CCNP route and CCNA video boot camp, we're going to take a look at some EIGRP commands, some fairly common and some not. And we're going to be on the live equipment here in about 10 seconds. So it's a good show review, a couple of commands you may not have seen before, and we're going to look at those EIGRP tables as well. So let's go ahead and bring up the live equipment. I'll get rid of what I had there. And let's start with show IP EIGRP. Now, the show IP EIGRP interfaces command, you're not going to use terribly often, in my humble opinion. It's going to show you the interfaces that are running EIGRP, how many peers you have through there. The other information can be important, but it's not something we're really concentrating on for the NA or the NP route exam. Now, the neighbors command, of course, is something we need to be very familiar with. This is one of our three major EIGRP tables. We have neighbor, topology, and route. And of course, the first uh, first step really in troubleshooting EIGRP is seeing who's neighbors and who's not, basically. So here it's going to show you from left to right the order in which the adjacencies were formed, their IP addresses, uh, the interface through which it's formed, the hold time, and of course the uptime, which is very important in case you hear reports of a flapping route where someone says, hey, you know, that, that interface hasn't been shut for a long time or that adjacency's been there a long time, and then you look at it and you see 17 minutes. You know that somebody is shooting you a line of something there. So let's take a look at our other options here. We've got topology, very important table. Now this one's a little unusual because you'll notice that for the one EIGRP route that I have, 23230-24, I have two successors. And that really threw me when I first started studying EIGRP, because I thought, well, if it's the best route, how can we have more than one? Well, we can do that if the metric is exactly the same. And that doesn't happen terribly often, because by default, EIGRP has equal cost load balancing on because the variance value is set to 1. And we can change that, and we'll do that in another video as well, to configure unequal cost load sharing. Do you remember the command where you can see what the variance value is? We go back to our old friend show IP protocols. And the variance value, you won't see it in the configuration by default, but it is set to 1 by default. So we've taken a look at our topology table and our neighbor table. Now our route table is simply this. And we see two routes to the same destination. They have the exact same metric. And by default, EIGRP will consider them both to be successors and put them both in the routing table. So those are our three EIGRP tables. Now, let me show you one other one, traffic. This is one you don't see too often. This can come in handy. You can see a lot of hellos have gone back and forth, relatively speaking, uh, as opposed to the other values. And of course, for you CCNP route candidates, you need to know what between hello, update, query, reply, and axe, which ones are considered unreliable and which ones are considered reliable. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you want me to tell you which is which. Okay, I can do that real quick. Uh, your unreliables are actually hellos and axe and your reliables are updates, queries, and replies. So that is it for our quick look at an EIGRP refresher, and we took a look at the tables as well. So a lot of show commands. I know there's a lot going on with EIGRP, but those of you working on the CCNA exam in particular, just hang in there. It does become second nature. Thanks for watching this video boot camp. I'm Chris Bryan, and thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.